Hi, today we're going to be seeing unit 5.4, which is the last one for the unit. The next uh, page after 55 would be 5.5, .5, which would be the uh, chapter review. So after we finish this unit, I strongly recommend you guys work on the chapter review just as it would help you for future exams. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and continue. So today's topic is a full circle. And by looking at the picture already, sorry about that, we're on page 54 and 55, for if you're looking for it. Okay, so if you're looking at the picture, what do you see? You see indigenous people and a train going through uh, mountain terrains and a field of flowers you see a mountain right what kind of ideas of the related topics do you think this is going to be about what do you think full circle means okay let's get right into it go ahead and focus on the first part of the DVD review and the first question says have you ever been on a long and or difficult journey what can you remember about it to other students by looking just at the picture of our unit uh, pages you can go ahead and get an idea of how tough it can be to maybe walk or hike a mountain across the mountain or maybe just a field or a desert or maybe just walk across sand or have to run through it you may have experienced a difficult journey or maybe just a very long one one of the journeys that I remember the most was when I first came to Mexico uh, by car I came to visit families driving all the way from California and the first time since we didn't really know our way around it took us five days it was very difficult it was very long and tiring have you ever experienced such a thing maybe a long road trip or maybe just something intense dangerous exciting it would be pretty cool if you share it maybe with me next time we see each other in class all right Let's go ahead and move on to the second part, and it is B. So it's read the program information and answer the questions. So they're giving us three questions, right? First one, what does Michael Palin do? Two, where does he travel to in full circle? And three, how does he travel in this episode? Let's go ahead and take a look at the reading. Michael Palin is an actor and travel writer. So there you go you have answered your first question he's an actor and travel writer in full circle he went on a journey through the 17 countries along the pacific coast while traveling 50,000 miles in 10 months he saw and discovered things beyond his dreams he learned how to cook eggs in a volcano and how to make music with horses bones in chile in this episode Michael travels across the Andes from Africa in Chile to Las Paz in Bolivia in a small train. Interesting. Did you catch on to the following two questions? Where does he travel to in a full circle? If you said the 17 countries on the Pacific coast, you are correct. He went on a journey through the 17 countries. It's right here. And number three. How did he travel in a small train right here? So those would be your three answers. If you didn't catch on to them, go ahead and rewind the video and see if you could find out yourself through the reading or maybe read it yourself. I encourage you to. I'm going to go ahead and play a video of him explaining his uh, the way he, he does things and uh, if you need help with the script remember that you can go ahead and find it in the back part of your page if you want to go ahead and read it and watch along 
I strongly recommend you do. If you feel a little bit more confident, then just go ahead and listen along. All right. Twice a week, a railway service leaves Arica for the Bolivian capital, La Paz. It'll take forever. Do you want a hand? Can I help? Can I help? It's just only two of you, Duel. It's going to take two hours, OK? I rarely felt quite as embarrassed at travelling with 45 cases. Some passengers are local. Some have come from countries far away. None have come quite as far as the train itself. Went across the Andes on a rail bus built for the branch lines of Munich 30 years ago. From the world's tiniest galley, two of our three man Bolivian crew produced the first of several hot dinners. Three and a half hours after leaving the Pacific, we're at 10,000 feet and still climbing. But the air is thin and simple things suddenly become difficult. How are you feeling? Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Is it the altitude? It's the, uh, it gives you the headache, yeah. nausea, and uh, it's hard to breathe. You start to wheeze. Yeah. Six and a half hours and a few llamas after leaving Arica, we've reached the Bolivian border. We're entering the poorest country in South America. Is it the journey of a lifetime? It's the journey of everyone's dream. A few hours later, the lights of La Paz twinkle below us. Of way problem here. Um, this is the railway line and this is the road, and uh, our conductor's trying to get people to clear out of the way. That's it, they've cleared them out so we can go on. Getting to La Paz is not easy. To our enormous relief, the lights are still on at La Paz station when our heroic vehicle finally pulls in. We've crossed the Andes at 16.4 miles an hour. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to answer the three questions they're giving us. And that would be an exercise too, so if you move on to it, on the right hand side, it says watch the DVD was it an enjoyable journey? Which of the problems below do people mention? Well, one of the first ones they mentioned, and I believe it was like around 7 minutes and 28 seconds into the video, is that it was difficult to breathe. The air was too thin, and it was giving them a headache. So definitely, this one was mentioned. Which other two did they mention? Well, the train stops a lot because of animals and cars on the track. So the train has to stop a lot. 
which makes the trip even longer. And number three, the train is very slow. They're moving around 16.5 kilometers or 16.4 kilometers per hour, something like that, which is pretty slow, <laughs> especially for a long ways they have to go. All right, let's go ahead and continue with the 3A. And they're going to say, working pairs, what do you think the words or phrases in bold mean? So they're giving us an option already, or a hint. Number one, they're saying, twice a week, a railway service leaves Arica. However, where are they getting this number one from? Working pairs, what do you think the words and phrases bold mean? We've reached the Bolivian border. One. Okay. I'm a little bit lost right here. One second. Sorry about that. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So now I know why I got confused. And you guys might get two. The reason why is because this right here is for the following exercise, which is at the bottom. You see right here on B, it says, watch the DVD again. Number the sentences in exercises through A in the order you hear them. So... Let's just go ahead and focus on the vocabulary. It says twice a week, reached, take two hours, local, journey of a lifetime, journey of everyone's dreams, and crossed. Is there one right here that you do not understand? Twice a week, it just means two times out of the seven days. Reached, it means you have arrived at your destination or arrived at the spot you wanted to go to. Take two hours, it's two hours long. Local, it's near, downtown. Uh, normally, whenever you say uh, something local, we tend to say it is like around in the city or nearby. Is it the journey of a lifetime? Now, this is a pretty cool one. Who wouldn't like a journey of a lifetime, right? Having a journey of a lifetime means that you had an amazing experience in a journey. You had an amazing time. And there was like no one other. And then journeys of everyone's dreams. What is the difference between a journey of a lifetime and journey of everyone's dreams. Well, this one right here, it could probably be something that not everyone could normally do. For example, I was able to climb the Chichen Itza pyramid back when they used to let us long, long time ago. So that was a journey of a lifetime for me because they no longer let you go up there. What about for everyone's dreams? What is everyone's dreams? Well, what is the majority? I know not everyone has the same dream. This is not what this is saying. But probably the most common or the most popular dream that everyone would like to have. Would it be probably being close to the clouds up in the mountains in a nice comfortable loft or cabin relaxing with your loved ones would that be a journey of everyone's dreams not really but it could be for a lot of people so in this case what would be the journey of your dreams how about that answer that for me and then Crossed, it just means you went over, you went across, or you 
went to the other side. All right, let's go ahead and go down and start numbering uh, on exercise B so we can start numbering this part right here. If you need to listen to the video again to answer the exercise, go ahead and do so. Or you can even read the script to get a better understanding. But I'm going to go ahead and give you the answers right here already. Don't just get the answers. I encourage you to try to listen to the answers at least and confirm that it is correct what I'm telling you. Let's go ahead and write it right here. So, twice a week a railway service leaves to Arica. Arica, sorry. What would be number two? We've reached the Bolivian border? Not really. It's going to take two hours? Yes. This is definitely something they said. Number two. Three. Some, pa some passengers are local? Definitely that was number three. And number four, we, pass we passed it since we've reached the Bolivian border. Number four. And then number five, is it the journeys of a lifetime? This would be number five right here. That was the question made. And then number six and seven would go in order right here. Okay, so that answers the exercise. Now, don't just go ahead and write the answer down. Go back to the video, or go back on the video, or maybe go to the website. You have the website in the back part of your book. Go to it, listen to the video, read your artist script, in the back part of your book and see if you follow the order if it is true confirm with it all right let's go ahead and move on to the next exercise it says working groups and discuss the questions what do you think of this journey would you like to do it why or why not would you have done what they did on the video would you make that journey? Would it be something that inter, uh, pikes your interest? If not, why not? If you do, why would you? Go ahead and answer that as well. Maybe you don't have to send me an email or write it down, but you can just go ahead and answer it yourself in this very moment. Okay, so now that we have gone through that, let's go ahead and start working on exercise 5. Today is going to be a short video, as you all know, whenever we reach to this part of the unit, it tends to be pretty uh, slow. Since we're, doing through a, uh, since we're do doing the class through YouTube, we can't normally do the activities in, uh, that we normally do in class to complement this part. So normally you just tend to do what you remember, go over the, the vocabulary for the chapter, go over the grammar rules, take notes, highlight important tips and uh, rules to remember. Also try to remember the formulas that I gave you or if you find any yourself, so you can go ahead and prepare yourself for the next exam. Okay. So, on this part, it's saying, read the text and answer the questions, what is the award? And number two, what will the winner do? Let's read the text. Journeys of my dreams is an award of 5,000 pounds for the best idea for an original and inspiring journey anywhere in the world. The winner will receive training in filmmaking and will record their experiences for a future program. What is the reward? The reward is 5,000 for the best idea for an original and inspiring journey anywhere in what the world. And number two, what are they gonna, uh, what will the winner do? 
He will receive training in filmmaking and record your experience for a future program. So that is the answer for both questions. Let's go to the next one. And we're going to listen to someone describing their journey. In this case, we're getting a hint that it is a woman or a girl that is going to be explaining this. Let's take a look at both questions. Where does she want to go? And what does she want to do there? Pay close attention. Unit 5, Recording 8 Okay, well, we would like to go to Easter Island. It is very isolated, very far from other places. And the nearest country is Chile, over 2,000 miles away. Uh, we're going to travel there by plane and stay with different families. And the trip is going to take three months. We want to experience the local culture, their music, food and way of life. <clears throat> so our plan is to speak to the local people about these things and to film them. We hope to find out about their traditions and to see what they think of their history. Well, um, finally, my husband and I always wanted to go to Easter Island. I read about it when I was a child and I saw pictures of these amazing stone heads on the island. So for us, this is the journey of our dreams. Okay, so that was interesting, right? Where does she want to go? If you say Easter Island, you're correct. And did you catch on to what she wants to do there? If you say she wants to experience the local culture, their music, food and way of life, and find out about their traditions and what they think about their history, you're correct as well. Now, the answer for number two is actually quite long. If you didn't catch on to all of it, go ahead and listen to the audio again, but this time listen to it with your audio script. See if you catch on to it this time and if you are able to keep up with the speed of the recording. Alright, let's go ahead and move on to exercise C. In exercise C, it says listen again and tick the key phrases you hear. I'm not going to go ahead and have you... Uh, Cure yourself trying to find for this part and listen to it over again and again and again and again. However, I do want you to at least try to catch on to the phrases they are saying. Here's the answers for those <clears throat> phrases. They actually mention the first one, the second one, the 5th, 6th, and, let me see, this one right here too, sorry about that, and this one. So all of those are mentioned. If you are able to catch on to those key phrases, please let me, uh, no, not let me know, but at least try to. Go ahead and practice. This is the whole uh, goal of this part of the uh, unit, for you to have a better understanding. Okay, moving on to 6A. And 6A says you are going to apply for the word, work in pairs, and decide. So this right here is going to be exercise for home. I'm going to have you uh, write this on your notebook. So go ahead and on a blank page, write down the date. So today is April 3rd, 2020, Friday, 2020. So it's a day before we go on to vacation uh, for the following two weeks. So just because today is vacation day, don't forget to do this. Do this because I will remember and I will check for it the next time you turn in your notebook. Okay, present your ideas to the class, use the key phrases to help you who should win the award. You could go ahead and do this on your own at home and 
try to finish it by today. If you don't, try to finish it during vacation time. Just don't leave it for last minute, minute because you will forget. That's how it normally goes. Whenever I do that, I tend to forget things. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the application, match paragraphs one to three with the headings A through C. So we have three headings. A, goals and objectives. B, detail of the plan. C, introduction. So let's go ahead and read the first one. We would like to go to Easter Island to live with the local people for three months. Easter Island is one of the great mysteries of the world. It has many famous stone statues of heads, but no one knows who made them or why. What kind of title would you give to that? Or heading, I mean. Is it goals and objectives, details of the plan, or introduction? Let's find out. Two, our plan is to talk to the islanders about their history and about their present and future. We will ask them about their lives and what they think of the statues. We want to learn how the world's most isolated people live, what they eat, what they do for entertainment, and what they think of the modern world of computers and other technology. And three, we will record of all the interviews on film. We will also keep a diary of our own experiences on the island. Eventually, we hope to make a TV documentary and write a book about our time on the island. So number one, if you say that number one is C, the introduction, you're correct. Two is the goals and objectives. And three is the details of the plan. Right? Okay. This part right here, you don't have to really do. If you do do it for extra exercise, cool. Go ahead and match it with this. But if not, that's fine as well. The practice is for you. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and conclude for today with this part of the unit. If you need to go ahead and check your understanding with the audios, go ahead and log into the website or go to the website to look for the videos and have it more uh, more for more suitable for you. And with that out of the way, Let's go ahead and focus on to the 5.5. On this part right here, I want you to go ahead and do it on your own. And it is everything we have seen from the first unit of this chapter. So choose four types of transport from the box below. Write a sentence about each type. Don't mention the name. I really want you to do this. This is the most important part of the unit. Why? Because it gets, gives you a little bit of practice, it gives you a little bit of, uh, of a little quiz for you to see if you really learned something. If you didn't learn anything, this will let you know. If you're having issues answering this part, see what it is, what part of the unit it is that it's giving you the, uh, the most difficult difficulties so we could go ahead and attack it. You can go ahead and send questions through an email or you can ask your parents if they know the language. Or I strongly encourage you to do a self-study. Go ahead and look it up on the internet and more than likely you will find the answer. Okay, with that I'll go ahead and conclude this video. Before we go on vacation I want to let you know that I wish the best, that I want you guys to be safe Stay home, wash your hands, uh, stay healthy, keep calm, do not panic. I'm sure that everything is going to be okay. And we will see each other in the near future in a regular classroom with regular hours. Okay, with that, I go ahead and say bye, take care, and until the next time.